Hey there, folks. It's Jimmy Stewart here. Hoping this is finding you all doing well. Look what I found in the snowbank outside. What do you think? Let's take a look. Again, I couldn't refuse this because it was on sale. And you know what sales mean. So, I was going to pass it up. But I passed it up already a couple times before. So, I decided to go ahead and get it. I mean, what the hell? You can't take it with you, right? So, don't try this at home, folks. Remember, I'm a trained professional. Let's open this up and see what we got. I like a nice sharp knife. But, Always make sure you put it away when you're done. Okay. So we set that there. Oh yeah. Thank you for your order. Now, if you don't already know, it's another Indio by Monoprice. Now, you know that I already got one. I bought the Indio Classic Cali over there, that, that fine instrument when it was on sale for $79.99, so it was $84 with tax sent to the door. This went on sale last week uh, for the same price, $79.99, so $84 to the door, couldn't refuse. And a couple of guitar companies need to take a little bit of uh, stock in what Mono Price does here on these Indios. They send you a very nice, I mean it's not the greatest, but it's nice. It's free. Fairly nice padded gig bag with the price of the guitar. So you can't complain about that. And it's not, I mean, that's, you know, it's a raised, uh, stitched in there. It's not just a decal. These are nice gig bags. So let me get rid of this box. Very well packaged guitars from Monoprice. All right, let me get rid of that box there. And let's take a look at this. I hurt my back shoveling snow the other day. And it's still sore. So forgive me. Ooh. All right. So your obligatory Allen wrenches here for your truss rod adjustment and bridge. We'll set those right there. I'm going to save that rubber band. You never know when you're going to need a rubber band. 
Well, see how they, they package these? These package these so nicely. This guitar is just lovely. Lovely packaged. It's not a plastic. It's almost like a lint type bag. Very nice. I know I get excited about packaging, but it's important. And then they wrap the strings. Now see, I wanted this one because I've already got the maple fretboard. I wanted to go with a rosewood fretboard this time. Let's take a look at this. Oh yeah, satin neck. I love the satin necks on these model prices. You, you, can't, uh, you can't beat them. That looks really, really nice. I like this aged yellow finish. They call it blonde. Wow. Now, unlike the Lix Pro, I guess it's pronounced L Y X. The Lix Pro I did the review on a couple of weeks ago. I, I got that guitar because these weren't in stock. Um, this is a string through. One of the first things I check is the neck pocket, and the neck pocket on this looks very good. Again, the Indio uh, hook. I guess you can call it. But it grows on you. I, I really don't mind the headstock on these. Tuning keys look good. We'll see how they hold. Neck feels great. Is that a bone nut? It sure looks like a bone nut on this. I'm not sure. It looks like one. It doesn't look like plastic. And guess what? When that other model price came in, my classic uh, Cali there, uh, the fret ends on that were like barbed wire. I mean, really, I had to, I could not do a review of that guitar out of the box because I had to take those frets down. I wasn't going to play it like this. This. Maybe they listened to me when I complained. This feels great. There is no fret sprouting on this at all. Look at that. Very, very nice. Now the fingerboard is a little dry. That's to be expected. That three-way switch feels very nice. Volume and tone knobs and pots feel good. They're very smooth. Nothing offset there. The fret inlays look perfect. Set very, very nicely. This does not have the ashtray bridge. This has got more of a strap bridge with six individual saddles instead of the two strings per saddle ashtray that is on your standard type of uh, Telecaster, which I knew. Strap holders seem perfectly fine. Sometimes you'll see, especially on on less expensive guitars, you'll see these string through holes. Sometimes they get drilled a little bit off. You know, you might have one a little bit different. These look perfect. The finish on this is flawless. I don't see a spot, an overrun, anything on here. 
pick guard is cut very, very nicely. No frays, no scrapes. If you look at the pick guard and the difference in the bridge plate, it's absolutely perfect. Wow. If this sounds anywhere close to how it looks, it'll be a true winner. All right, so I'm going to get this tuned up. I'm going to take a close look at it for the up-close video, and uh, we'll check out some tone samples from the new. This is called the, uh, the Indio Mono Price uh, Classic Retro. It's a retro. This is what they call the Telecaster. They call the Stratocaster a Classic Cali. This is very nice. This neck feels great. I mean, it feels great. They're saying it's a 9.5 radius, and it might be. It feels fairly thin. It doesn't feel as wide as the others, but I'll, I'll check it out. All right, so I'll get her tuned up. We'll take an up-close look at the guitar, and uh, we'll take some tone checks in just a minute or two. Be right back, folks. Thanks for watching. So here's the up close and personal on the Monoprice Retro Tele. These have a basswood body. This has got a rosewood fretboard and your standard 25.5. I think that is a bone nut. I'm not positive, but it sure feels and looks like one. And then your Standard tuning keys up there that seem to be holding quite well. I like the tuning keys on the Monoprice. And there's that satin neck, nice maple neck. You can see the graining in that. I like how they do their necks. It's very cool. And a bolt on, and there's your string through. And that kind of a antique yellow. They call it blonde, but I really like the color of these. Looks like a 50s Telecaster that it's based on. Great neck pocket. Your standard dot markers going up. Is that not, I like, uh, I'm not quite sure what it is, but I'm pretty sure it, it feels like bone to me. It looks like bone. And then your standard configuration with six saddles on this instead of the three, three saddle ashtray bridge. Now here's a comparison I wanted to show you uh, with the Lix Pro that I just got a couple of weeks ago and the Monoprice. You can see the Monoprice horns a little bit more rounded. Uh, obviously the difference in the headstocks. And of course the Lix Pro had the maple neck and the Monoprice has got the rosewood fretboard. The Lix Pro has the maple fretboard. But the bodies are pretty much the same except for a little bit more rounding on the horns. Just two very cool guitars. If you haven't checked out the Lix Pro review, check out the link there. So I'm just pulling these strings here. I said this was sitting out in the snow and it's very cold outside. I had it sitting in here for a while to warm it up a little bit. It's like eight degrees outside. plastic off of this. Plastic off the pickup. It's got good tape into the volume and tone pots.
fairly quiet too. We'll see what happens when I put some uh, meat into it, a little snot on there. the neck pickup. I like the sound of the neck. And the middle sounds good too. It's got some quack to it. The bridge.
Bridge sounds good too. The pickups in this I like much better than I liked the pickups in the Lix Pro. Uh, but we're going to fix that Lix Pro. I'm going to throw a set of Tex-Mex in there and it's going to be perfect. You'll see. <laughs> Yes. Wow. Thumbs up to Mono Price on the Indio Classic Retro. This guitar is wonderful. Um, wow. Nothing to complain about here, folks, for $84 sent to your door with a nice gig bag. It sounds good. It actually sounds very good. It plays very nice. Once I put a set of nines on there and clean that fingerboard up, this is dry. There is no sharp fret edges on this at all. The, the, the frets have done very, very well, which I'm surprised. I really am because the Cali Classic uh, Strat came in with barbed wire. But it plays great now. Uh, this feels really, really good. The neck is wonderful, just like the neck on that. Wow. Bravo Mono Price. And again, some of you other gu smaller guitar companies or larger guitar companies, some of you Chinese guitar companies and Vietnamese guitar companies, learn a thing or two from Mono Price about packaging a guitar. Uh, it's not going to kill you to throw a gig bag in there, and that helps keep that guitar from getting damaged in transit. It's a great little gig bag that they send from Mono Price included in the price of the guitar and if you need to raise your price five or ten bucks then do it but don't go crazy but these they're setting these out normal price ninety nine dollars a hundred bucks uh delivered we're gonna wrap it up for today folks it is the mono price indio retro classic it's a telly style this is in uh blonde um the maple neck with the rosewood fretboard, which is wonderful. Um, it gives me that little bit more different style. Like I said, the uh, the the Lix Pro has the maple on maple, so that you know it gives me a reason to get another one. <laughs> but anyway, uh, both are nice. They were both around the same price, but this sounds, I think, much better. Uh, that bridge pickup in the Lux Pro is kind of uh, or the Lix Pro. It's microphonic. It's it doesn't quite sound as good, but I think again with the pickups I have for that, and the, I'm going to put the uh, the Wilkinson compensated uh, brass saddles in that. I have a set sitting right over here. Oh, watch my back. These are the Wilkinsons. I'm going to throw that in that guitar as well. This is not going to need it. This has got six saddles. This is the original. Two strings per saddle, compensated brass bridge. I'm going to throw in that. So that's going to be a great guitar when it's done. I really do like the style of it. I love the neck on it. Um, again, it's a gloss neck. It's not a satin finish neck like this. But, I mean, different strokes. So, thank you so much for stopping in. Thank you so much for subscribing for those that have. If you're on the fence about subscribing, please consider doing so because I'd really appreciate it. We're trying to grow the channel. So thank you so, so much, 
Until next time, it's Jimmy Stewart saying so long, take care of yourselves, please stay healthy, and we'll talk to you again very, very soon. Bye-bye for now.